Good morning. Today we will be doing a beginner total body strength routine. So if you have dumbbells with you, feel free to grab them. If you don't have any equipment, totally fine. You can do all of these without any equipment. Um, we'll just start by stepping side to side, swinging our arms, warming everything up. Good. All right. So again, I always try to say this in the beginning, just do whatever feels comfortable. If we come across an exercise that kind of bothers you or you are not comfortable with, just feel free to skip it. I'll try to give modifications for some of the exercises. Um, but yeah, just do whatever feels comfortable for your body. So we'll switch between two strength exercises, then go through multiple different sets, and then we will do a quick stretch at the end. So for the first exercise, we're going to just do a basic bicep curl. So if you have your dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. All right, so elbows glued, palms facing forward, curl to the top, slowly lower down. So make sure those elbows stay glued the entire time, making sure at the top, your wrists stay straight. They don't bend in towards you, which they might want to do. Good. Slowly coming down. Don't just let them drop. Good. Awesome. Slow and steady. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good. One more. And twelve. Awesome. All right. You can put those dumbbells off to the side. We are going to switch between that and the knee extension. So again, with this one, you are going to be balancing on one leg. So if you want to hold on to the wall or a chair, feel free to do so. Make sure that standing leg isn't locked in so you don't put strain on that knee. Lifting your leg up as high as you feel comfortable. It can be down here, it can be all the way up here. Whatever feels more comfortable, we're gonna be holding it up there. All right, once you find that height, extend. Good, perfect. And again, we wanna be feeling it right here, on the top of our leg and our quad muscle. You decide how high you wanna hold it, making sure that standing leg is not locked in. Good. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Just trying to stand up nice and tall. Ten. Eleven and 12. All right, shake those legs out, switching to the other side. Again, make sure that standing leg isn't locked in. Lift that leg up, extend, and flex. Two, good. Three, trying to keep that height. Four, five, good. Six, Seven, eight, good, almost there. Make sure you're standing upright. Two more, good. And last one, awesome. All right, shake those legs up. We're gonna go back to the bicep curl, so go ahead and grab your weights. All right, elbows glued, palms facing forward, curling to the top and slowly lowering down. Good. Make sure those wrists stay straight and resisting that gravity coming down. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Good, nine, almost there. Make sure those wrists stay straight. Good, 
Good, elbows glue, don't let them come up. Last two. And 12. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go back and grab onto the wall. If you feel like you wanna hold on, you can try to balance, but just be near somewhere where you can hold on. Standing on one foot, make sure it's not locked in. Lift that leg up as high as you feel comfortable. Extend and flex. Good, really feeling it on that top of your leg. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good, almost there. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, shake those legs out. We'll switch to the other side. Again, standing like slight bend in the knee. Lift that other leg up, extend, and flex. Two, three, good, four, Five, good, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Shake those legs out. We're going to grab our dumbbells again and do a two. Um, two arm row. So grabbing those dumbbells, feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat, weights out in front of you. We're gonna pull back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, keeping those elbows close, and slowly come back down. Two. Again, head can be wherever it feels comfortable. Good. Four, just really important to squeeze in the back. Good, keep that back flat. Good, halfway. Seven. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Awesome job. Put those to the side. We're going to switch between that and a basic squat. So toes facing forward, legs a little greater than hip distance apart. Pretending like you're about to sit down on a chair. Make sure those knees stay behind your toes. Down as far as you can. And back up. Good. Two. Three, and you can actually, if you want to, actually sit down on a chair and get up. If you have a chair with a good height to do so, you can do that as well. Or you can stick to this. Again, make sure those knees stay behind your toes. Good. Almost there. Again, doesn't matter how far down you go, just as long as you're using the right muscles and not putting strain on your knees. Good, two more. Good, last one. Good, all right, shake those legs out. We'll go back to the row. So grabbing those dumbbells again, feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights out in front, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and come forward. Two, yep, good. Three, yep, make sure those elbows stay close. Again, head wherever it feels comfortable, either looking down or up. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. 10, 
11, and 12. Awesome. All right, putting those to the side, we'll go back to the squat. So again, legs a little greater than hip distance apart, toes facing forward, hands wherever you feel comfortable. Pretend like you're sitting down. Make sure those knees stay behind your toes. Good. Two. You decide how far you want to go down. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. Great. All right, shake those legs out. We're now going to switch between a side leg raise and then we'll do a core punch out. So first let's start with the side leg raise. Again, if you want to hold on to something, you can. We're going to start with both feet together. Make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in the knee. Bring that leg out, toe pointed forward, and slowly lower back down. Trying to hover over the ground instead of placing it down. Again, holding on to something if you feel more comfortable. Good. Make sure that toe stays facing forward. It's going to want to go in the direction that you're kicking, but try to keep it facing forward. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good. And twelve. Perfect. All right, shake those legs out. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So remember, don't lock that standing leg in. Make sure that it doesn't have to be necessarily bent, but not locked in. Leg out to the side, toe pointed forward, slowly coming back down. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Good. Nice and steady. Make sure that toe is still facing forward. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Good. Last two. Good. One more. Awesome. Shake those legs out. All right. For the next one, grabbing one of your dumbbells. We're going to stand with our feet about hip distance apart, making sure you do that pelvic tilt so your back is flat, drawing your belly button in, weight right at your chest, punching straight out and straight back in. So you're going to use your core to make sure nothing else is moving. We're going to punch straight out and straight back in. Good. Two. Again, you should feel this in your arms and your core. You should not be feeling it in your lower back. Good. Awesome. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. All right, put that weight down. We'll go back to the side leg raise. So again, grabbing onto a wall or chair if you feel more comfortable. We'll start with our feet together. Slight bend in the knee. Out to the side, toe facing forward. Slowly come back down. But this one, again, it doesn't matter really how far you kick out, just as long as you're still standing upright and have that toe facing forward. Good, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Good. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Feet together, slight bend. Out, toe pointed forward, slowly back down. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Make sure that toe faces forward. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go back to the core punch out. So grabbing one of your dumbbells. Again, be a little greater or actually just a hip distance apart. Pelvic tilt, so tucking your butt under, drawing your belly button in, weight at your chest, punch straight out and straight back in. Two. Three. Four. Good, five. Make sure to use that core, six. Seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. All right, we're going to pick up both of our dumbbells and we're either going to do alternating shoulder press, but if you have any pain in your shoulder, I want you to do alternating bicep curls, or you can do the shoulder press without any weights. All right, so we're going to end up doing 12 on each side. So starting at 90 degrees, one goes up. Oops. <laughs> Don't hit the ceiling. <laughs> Slanted ceiling here. Good. Two. Make sure that neck stays relaxed as best you can. Shoulders don't come up to your ears. Good. Nice and steady. Four. Good. Five. <coughs> Six. Good. Seven. Good. You're almost there. Try to make sure that neck stays relaxed. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Two more on each side. Eleven. And 12. All right, we're going to switch between that and just a regular calf raise. So feet together. You can hold on if you'd like. Pretend like there's a string attached to your head. Going straight up and straight back down. So coming up on your toes and back down. Three. We're going to do 20. Good. Five. Six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, eleven, good, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, good, nineteen, and 20. Awesome. Shake those legs out. We'll go back to the alternating shoulder press or alternating bicep curl. All right. So 90 degrees. One goes up and back down. Again, relax your neck as much as you can, making sure when you press up, your shoulder doesn't come up to your ear. Keep that shoulder down. Great. Good. You got this. Make sure you're still breathing. Slow and controlled here. Good. Trying to make sure that you have a pelvic tilt. 
So you're not arching your back and putting pressure on your lower back. Good. Almost there, we're halfway. Good. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more on each side. Good. All right, we're gonna go do 20 calf raises. All right, feet together, string attached to your head, pulling you up towards the ceiling, coming up on your toes. Good. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, good. 10, make sure you're going up, not letting your hips swing you forward. Good. 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, shake those legs out. All right, last few things. We're gonna do the arm circles and then we'll stretch. So we're gonna do circling forward, circling back, pulsing up and pulsing down. We'll repeat again. But instead, we'll do circling forward, circle back, C shape, and pulsing forward, which I'll, I'll remind you what we're doing. You don't have to remember that. All right, so 20 seconds in each direction. Ready and go. Good. Awesome. Again, with this as well, trying to keep your neck relaxed, shoulders down. Good. We'll reverse in three, two, one. Reverse back. Good. Again, really trying to use your arms, trying to relax your neck as best you can. I know it's hard. Good. Awesome. Again, our next uh, exercise will be pulsing up towards the ceiling in three, two, one. Palms up, little pulses. You're holding something in your hand, but somehow it weighs a lot. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. We're gonna pulse down after, and then we'll take like a 30 second rest. Pulse down in three, two, one. Pulsing down, last 20 seconds, we'll take a rest, do one more circuit, then stretch. Good. Good. Five, four, Three, two, okay, awesome. All right, just so you can swing your arms, you can just let them rest, whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna do that again, except we'll circle forward, circle back, make a C shape, and then pulse forward. All right, 15 more seconds, just give yourself a little rest. Feels like your arms weigh a lot now. <laughs> All right. Ready, last thing, and circling forward, good. We're almost there, we just have stretching to go. Good. Awesome, again, try to relax your neck as best you can, I know it's hard. All right, we'll reverse back in five, four, three, two, good, reverse. 20 seconds here, after this we'll do the C shape. Awesome. C shape in three, two, one. C shape, try to keep your palms open if you'd like, or you can put them in a fist. I find it easier to do with your palms out. Good. We're almost there. We just have pulsing forward. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one, pulsing forward, last 20 seconds. You got this. 10 seconds. 
three, two, one. Oh, all right, yay. All right, let's bring that arm across our body. And as a reminder, I always suggest doing 30 seconds of each stretch. Right now we're just doing a quick version, so you can go ahead and repeat these again after if you'd like, switching arm, or you can check out one of our stretch or relaxation videos on our channel on YouTube. Good. Arm behind your head, grabbing onto your elbow. Good. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath, switching elbows. Good. Shoulders roll back. And forward. We're gonna roll our head all the way around slowly. Again, only if it feels comfortable. Once you get back to the starting position, go all the way back around. Good. If you have a wall, you can put your foot up against the wall to stretch out your calf. Or if you're not near a wall, you can just have your toe. I know you can't see the bottom of my toe, but toe facing up towards the ceiling and reaching forward towards that foot. Stretch out that calf muscle. Good. Switching sides. Letting your arms come in front of you, making a circle, ducking your head under, stretching out the back of your neck and upper back. Make sure you're breathing, swing your arms back, open up your chest, deep breath in, and out. All right, bringing your legs further apart, slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, swaying side to side, grabbing onto your elbows, slowly rolling up, deep breath in, and we are done. Awesome job.